I'm Lizzie Sorrell. I'm doing publicity for GLOW, a little bit of costuming, and I'm playing Peg Looney. Peg started working at Radium Dial when she was 17 years old. Technically, legally, she was not supposed to be working there until she was 18, but some of the girls at Radium Dial started working as early as 11, so she was not the only one. The company let it slide because they needed workers. Specifically, they hired immigrant girls. Peg was an immigrant. She is an Irish Catholic. She came from a very large family. She was the eldest daughter of 10. All of her friends and her family said she brought her work home with her. She let her little sisters and her siblings play with the radium when she was at home. They called it glow-in-the-dark paint. Because radium was a luxury and they didn't have that luxury, Peg's family was very poor. She made more money than her father and that's a lot of responsibility to carry for a very young woman. And as the breadwinner in her family, at least in our show, she kind of carries the burden, not in a negative way, but carries the responsibility of her family on her back. We kind of show that responsibility weighing on Peg a little bit. It informs her decisions that she makes uh, throughout the show. She tries to prevent herself from achieving what she wants because of that responsibility that she carries. Ashley Ringer Brown is the director and co-writer of the show, but she's also playing Ethel, my mother. And Ethel and Peg were very close in real life. After Peg passed, Ethel would go visit Peg's grave every single day. I've had the honor of working with Ashley in a creative capacity many times before, but I've never been on stage with her. And I think we play off of each other really well. I think our mentor and student relationship plays really well as a mother and daughter on stage. I feel very lucky to be able to work with such talented cast members for example, Jaden Knoll, who's playing Catherine Donahue. Peg and Catherine are the best of friends. Peg is kind of the calm to Catherine's storm. She reassures her. And we really only have Act 1, Scene 1 to kind of just see them together, but we've found little nuances throughout the show to be able to bring light to that relationship. As for romantic relationships, Peg's boyfriend and then soon fiance Chuck Hackensmith is played by Hayden Vipke. Um, we have the advantage of already being friends so it's been really fun to figure out what Peg and Chuck are like. Again someone who is incredibly talented. I'm so glad I get to work with him. Something that did happen in real life that we included in the show is that when Peg could no longer walk Chuck carried her around in a little red wagon around town. It's really going to touch the audience's hearts when they see it. There's a lot of themes of sickness and death in the show, and I believe art can be a form of healing, so if you stick along with us for the ride, the story ends with hope. So although there is tragedy, although there are these really emotionally intense scenes, they're not just for show. They happen in real life. I think above all, this show is both truthful and hopeful. I really feel lucky to be chosen to help carry this story and to help bring these women back to life. We have so many people in the cast and in the crew who care so much, who put their heart and soul into the show that it's absolutely going to pay off. And I think the audience is going to feel that when the curtain opens. They're going to feel the love that we have for these characters. Come see GLOW today, this weekend. This is a world premiere. How many times have you looked up on YouTube original cast recording? You can come see it in Henry County right now for as low as $8. Only at the theater down the street.